Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into 3D printing like me, you know that getting the most out of your printer often means making a few key upgrades. Today, I'm going to talk about some common upgrades that can significantly improve your 3D printing experience. And I'll also share the specific changes I've made to my own printer. Let's get started. Starting with the bed surface. One popular upgrade is switching to a glass bed. Glass beds are known for their excellent adhesion properties which can help your prints stick better and reduce warping. They also provide a smoother surface which can improve the bottom finish of your prints. I have upgraded my printer with a glass bed and the difference has been quite noticeable. My prints adhere much better and I no longer have to deal with the frustrations of prints lifting off the bed midway through a job. If you're using a standard bed, I'd highly recommend giving a glass bed a try. Next, let's talk about the extruder mechanism. The extruder is crucial for feeding filament into the hot end smoothly and consistently. An unreliable extruder can lead to under extrusion, clogs and overall bad print quality. I've upgraded my extruder mechanism to a more robust all metal design. This has significantly improved the consistency of my filament feed, resulting in better print reliability and quality. It's definitely a worthwhile upgrade if you're looking to enhance your printing experience. Finally, let's talk about filament guides. A filament guide helps direct this filament smoothly from the spool to the extruder, reducing the risk of tangles and ensuring a more consistent feed. I actually 3D printed my own filament guide. It was a fun project and it's made a big difference in preventing filament tangling and ensuring a smoother feed into the extruder. Plus, it's a great way to use your printer to improve itself. So those are some common upgrades you consider for your 3D printer. A glass bed for better adhesion, an upgraded extruder mechanism for more reliable filament feeding, and a filament guide to keep everything running smoothly. To recap, upgrading your printer doesn't have to be complicated. All these small changes can lead to significant improvements in your print quality and overall experience. I hope you found these tips helpful and I'd love to hear about the upgrades you've made to your own printers. Drop a comment below and share your experiences. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more 3D printing tips and projects.